Also making news today, nurses are pledging to turn away violent or drug-affected patients, saying hospital workers have had enough. Now, research shows almost all emergency department doctors and nurses have been physically threatened on the job. For more, we're joined by Shelley Horton and Dickie Wilkins. Shell, uh, it's a bold move to turn people away, but I guess they have to do it's it. It's not a bold move, it's the right move. If I mean, we need to protect our nurses. They're in their workplace. And you know what? If you've come in and you're punching on or you're being rude, I say let them bleed out. I have no problem with that. Wow. You've caused this issue. You are the one who are threatening someone else's life. You don't deserve to have your life saved. Is there a Hippocratic wow. Oath? For Australian, well, I think it's just medical... I think all medicine, all medicine, basic, but the... come from Hi Hi Hippocratic. So where does this yeah? sit in that? Because I, what about self protection? I totally agree <laughs> with you. I totally agree with you. But... but people who come in who are incapacitated or it's a life or death situation will be treated as they as they would be and should be. It's part of a doctor and nurse's Hippocratic oath, as you say. But I say hallelujah to this. If someone comes in. And I've got to, I've got to say, with, with, without even reading the whole thing, ice has got to be the major yeah, problem. Here. Absolutely. Mm. People coming in, they're off their heads mm. or they're drunk or whatever, and they start attacking nurses and mm. doctors who are there. You know, these are the noblest of professions. These are people working hard uh, on a daily and nightly basis, dealing with whatever walks in the front door, and people are attacking them. I mean, shut okay, the well, door, let me, go let's, away, let's, let me put this, come let me, back. Let me put this out there then. What if someone is suffering a, a, a mental incident of some sort? What if suddenly their, their medication's wrong or something like that? Do we just turn them away as well? Well, they're talking about having like a, a breakout room, like a timeout room for right. these people. So, you know, it's up to the doctors and nurses to make a call on that. Case by case. I would honestly have a big fat syringe of sedative or something and just... Knock them out until like you feel movies. safe. Like, like the movies, gun. like a yeah. cartoon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I mean, there are going to be grey areas here, of, <laughs> yeah. of course, and it is yeah. a case-by-case -case basis, but I don't think nurses should have to find themselves, and doctors, you know, no. facing exactly. people. And this people. study shows that 92% 92 have had physical aggression in the last year and 97% have verbal aggression. So mm. this, is, this is at a crisis. So I support it. Yeah, All right. me too. Meanwhile, people risking their lives for an Instagram-worthy snap at the iconic wedding cake rock in New South Wales could cop a $300 fine from this weekend. Oh, is this New South Wales or Perth? Perth. 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 Oh, yeah, Perth, sorry. Uh, now, although it looks solid, oh, nice the delightful. sleek white formation is at risk of crumbling into the sea. Whoops. Dickie, this is for people's own safety, well, but is finding people going a bit too far? I have trouble looking at that because I suffer from vertigo mm. and, and the, <laughs> just walking anywhere near a cliff or something just does my stomach inside Even out. Even Cliff Richard. I think, look... Um, the, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> look, they say this is about to crumble sometime soon. I think it's just stupid. Yes, you might get a good selfie, but... You wouldn't want to be the last person sitting there when the thing tumbles. Dickie, no. No, Dickie imagine that last shot. Oh, if you're Shelley. mid fall, that yeah. would go viral, man. Uh, Look, that would go viral. The council's going to have to save people when they fall off and the thing crumbles and blah, 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 blah. I think fine. They say it's dangerous to go there. That's their call. And if you do fun go police, there, Shelley. Is it the fun police? Look, I'd rather they find Kim Kardashian for flashing her boobs than find people for, you know, going out and every rock. Week. It should be coming everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Oh, look, it's just going to be so hard to police. If you've got a ranger there on the spot, fine, no problem. How, else, how Otherwise, it's a bit hard. Are you going to go onto people's Instagram feeds and Back leave track. a comment and say, by the way, oh, well, you're yeah, going to be could you just give me your address? We're going to send you a fine. Council of Pain. All right, finally, Sydney Ciders, Sydney Ciders will soon be allowed to drink on the streets and in the park with 62 alcohol-free zones being scrapped by the Lord Mayor Clover Moore. However, the city's controversial lockout laws will remain in place by Premier Mike Baird, meaning people can't can't even buy a bottle of wine after 10 p.m. Shelley, now, I controversially think the lockout laws are, are, are a good thing. They're a necessary evil for this point in time. But then Clover Moore politically has opened up the park, saying, hey, come and have a drink in the park. What is going on in this city? I think Clover's been hitting the goon bag. This is idiotic. Oh. I mean, really, if we are saying as a state that we need these lockout laws, you can't then have the Lord Mayor undermine those laws. And how irresponsible to have it in a public place where it's not even supervised. So the responsible service of alcohol doesn't apply. I think this is crazy and I think that Clover needs to have a long, hard look at herself. Yeah, I, the lockout laws are one thing and that's a government initiative that, you know, is controversial. This is a knee-jerk reaction in response to that and I would suggest the upcoming council elections. Clover Moore and mm. her people are trying to curry favour with people who want to go and drink in the park. Well, young, I think they're trying to target young people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those there are enough people. places to go and have a drink. You know, 
bars, pubs, clubs. If drinking underage is illegal anyway, so why sort of encourage that? But do we really need people sitting around in parks? Drinking, no. sitting no. on a park bench, no. sucking on a bottle of sherry or whatever. Well, I don't know no, where they're going to get it because you can't buy a bottle of wine. Exactly, after, after 10 o'clock. No. <laughs> this is stupid and I can't believe that, they're, that she's it doesn't proposing make sense. this. No. All right, well, let us know what you think at home. Go on to Facebook and Twitter. We just did that at the same time. We do you know that? Yes. Yeah. so in sync. <laughs> Shelley and Dickie, good to see you. Thank both. you. Thanks, guys.